Well, good morning. Um, we got all of our morning things done. You saw laundry, getting ready, dishes, practicing piano, all the things that have to be done in the morning. And now we're just working on schoolwork. And so usually with Peter's math, we don't correct it every single day because if he has a question on something, he will just come to me and ask, like, I don't know how to do this. And so every few days then we make sure that we correct like the current lesson, and then I can see, oh, is there something that he needed some work on? Then we can go back and do that or practice some more problems like it. Um, if he does well, then we just keep moving forward. So that's what we're doing. We're just correcting a lesson, and well, actually, we're done with that. Now we're working on, um, I'm just like teaching the next lesson just to make sure that he's on par for that. So it's been pretty much a math morning. Math and then math and then more math and correcting math and math and more math. <laughs> Did I make that clear that we've been doing math all morning? Uh, it's lunchtime now and we're just sort of putting together a bunch of little bits of leftovers. I have some green beans in the microwave. I have about maybe six or eight mozzarella sticks left in the box. I have some of the taquitos. These are the taquitos that we made in the big freezer meal prep. Uh, day and these are really really good just put them in the air fryer just like it says on here I heat it up to 400 degrees and I turn it to 390 for 15 minutes uh, I do brush the tops of them with a little oil it kind of helps them get a little crispier we had just a little bit left of this loaf of sourdough so we toasted that and Maria got that buttered Joe, for you us can wait for these like we have some pancakes left from breakfast I have some salad we have um, applesauce and some eggs that really really broke so we have a lot of coloring on them we have some lunch meat just a whole host of things here for lunch today I just had to put a sweater on so in this video I have I feel like I've changed clothes all day this morning I had well I had this black shirt on but I also had on my like gray sweater poncho and then I was running around doing all my morning things and laundry and making beds and all of that and then I was like whoo I'm hot so I took it off and then I was freezing. So I just keep going back and forth. And then after lunch, I was um, sitting down and I was looking through emails and responding to some of those. And then all of a sudden I'm like, I'm freezing cold again, but I want to bake. And so I don't want a poncho on because that's not going to work great. So anyway, now I put another sweater on. <laughs> that's not normally like me. I am normally the kind of person that like whatever I have on in the morning, I keep that on all day, like even church clothes. I just keep them on all day. Okay, let's do some baking. It's been a while. I stood up from lunch. I'm like, well, let's see where the afternoon's going to take me. And Warren kind of laughed. He's like, uh, maybe to the kitchen baking cookies. 
<laughs> so I take that as a sign that I haven't done that very much lately, so it's time to get going on that. Let's see what we're going to do. I just opened up cookbook number two, and I wanted to make something that I hadn't done in a while. The first cookie recipe here is four bakery-style cranberry cookies. I'm only going to make half a batch because I also want to make something with chocolate, and that is going to be the next page. Chewy brownie cookies, and I'll make a full batch of those. So I'm going to get a half a pound, which is two sticks of butter. I'm going to start creaming that. All right, and I have to remember I'm doing this in half. So that's only a quarter cup of sugar. All right, three fourths cup of brown sugar. One box of pudding. The recipe calls for French vanilla pudding. Oftentimes, I just pick up my pudding at Aldi, and so they just have regular vanilla. So that's what I use. But French vanilla is also very good. Hey, could you go out and get me a dozen eggs, Joe? Thank you very much going to do two eggs. Well, I didn't hit it hard enough to crack it one-handed. Let's do this one. There we go. I just preheated my oven to 350 degrees. All right, next up I need one and a fourth cups of flour. and one tablespoon of baking soda. Three and a half cups of oatmeal. And some dried cranberries. About one cup. Ooh, that's getting... Step. This isn't full, but I am trying to make a pretty good sized cookie. Maybe you can see over here there's only eight cookies on the pan. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, bro. Hmm. Well, here we go on the next recipe. This is for chewy brownie cookies and I'm making the full batch. So one and a half cups of brown sugar. I have in there a teaspoon of vanilla. It's actually probably a little more than like a tablespoon of vanilla. I kind of over, over poured. Two thirds cup of shortening, a tablespoon of water. Up in my cupboard, I keep a pile of napkins that like maybe we use them at supper time and they looked very clean to me but not clean enough to put back on the clean clean pile anyway i keep a, a good stack of them and then when i get shortening on my hands or egg on my hands or something when i'm cooking or i need to wipe something up off the counter real quick like spilled anything i i grab for those so just a little tip for you a little frugal tip for you all okay we need two eggs is that going to be a one-hander? Yes, it is. No shells. Can we do it twice in a row? There we go. No shells. But I made a little mess. So there's that little paper towel to the rescue. All right, so we're just going to get this all mixed up really well now. And if my kitchen aid bowl wasn't dirty, I would just mix this in the kitchen aid, but... It was just as easy for me to grab another bowl. You know, Peter's like, what, Mom, what are you thinking? He's on dishes today, but usually I kind of rinse things a little and kind of help out a little bit, so it shouldn't be too bad for him. Probably should have creamed my sugar with my shortening before adding in the eggs, but I didn't. One and a half cups of flour. Ew. A third cup of baking cocoa, one-fourth teaspoon of baking soda, Delicious. you 
think baking soda sounds good, Joe. Yes. And a mm -hmm. little bit of salt, a half a teaspoon of salt. We're going to get the oven turned on to 375. And mix this well. And then I'll be adding in a, two cups of chocolate chips. I'm going to use the same pans. Maybe take a couple little crumbs off of them. Uh-oh, my cookie scoop doesn't squeeze. That's weird. Hmm. Is there something stuck? I think it's stuck over here. Somehow this... But now we got all that dough in there. <laughs> Watch out, it's going to go... Yeah. <laughs> well, so much for my 25-year-old cookie scoop. Can't believe that. Only lasted 25 <laughs> years. It's a big catch-up day on school today. Um, you know, during Holy Week, there were a number of days that things just got busy with just other events and different church things and whatever. So anyway... Then Monday of this week, I think we took off or just did very, very, very light school. So today's been a huge catch-up day. So if you see the boys in the background, I think Joe is coloring. He's not doing like schoolwork right now, but Peter is doing schoolwork. I can't. I can't. You can't do schoolwork right now? No, I can't. This summer is hard. School work is hard? No, it's brush is so hard for me. Oh. Super good day out in the egg, out in the chicken coop. I just took out this like container. I had a bunch of scraps in here. And I thought, I'll just look. We have not hardly been getting an egg. Like maybe one egg every couple of days. The five hens we have, two of the th two or three, Peter, are old. Old, old. Yep, two. Tiger, two. Two. only two are old, Coldest. old, and three are newer. Three. <laughs> so two are old, old. Old, old. One is like medium. Just regular old. Yeah, and then two are like young. Younger from last year. In their year. 20s. In their 20s, okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so they're really producing <laughs> eggs. So we're, we only have the two that are like a little more regular in their egg laying, and then with this weird weather, um... Yeah, it's just been weird. But this was a joy to go out there and get four eggs in one day. That was amazing. So I'm gonna get those washed up, uh, get those into the oven. I'm looking over at my rolls here. Get those into the fridge. And then I'm doing some of these dinner rolls. These are the Rhodes rolls. And so we're gonna be doing some barbecue for supper. And I thought, I know, look at. <laughs> we couldn't get those three apart when they were froze. So they just, rose and now we're just gonna like bake them and they're mm -hmm. just gonna be a three thing. just like a great big great big try try roll huh try dinner roll yep. anyway so yeah those are rising nicely and then i just have the barbecue here in here thawing and i yep. think it's getting thawed yeah i'm gonna get that warming up and it's gonna be that and i think i might have a bag of tater tots and then we have some fruit um the bananas look like they're starting to get a little bit um, soft, but actually they still feel firm. We have some cuties. Yes. Cut up this melon and one last pear, and that all is going to be supper for tonight. All right, well, after supper, I ran into town here because I wanted to get my nails done. So I just did like kind of a dark red here today. Um, but I had to come to Tractor Supply so I could get some chicken feed. And I saw this hat. Isn't this cute? Such a cute hat. It like like snugs on into place just so cute it's only 20 bucks and they've got something called this khaki and light multi oh i see okay and this is multi brown and then this is green isn't that the truth
Of course you have to come back and check out what they have for. Let's see if I can show you guys. There's a better look. So we've got some little chicks there. But I thought that I would come and take a look to see if they had any turkeys or ducks. They've got geese and turkeys over there. All right, there we go. Now I can get the right angle. So little turkeys and geese. But wow, the geese are $17.99 and the turkeys are $15.99. I did not, I was thinking they were going to be more like 10 bucks. And then over in that tub, there's little bantams. See those little teeny, teeny ones, the dark ones running? They're so tiny. Well, I left with only chicken feed. I saw a hat I wanted and a little, and a pot, a flower pot that I wanted, but I stuck to the list. All right, I stopped into Goodwill because I was looking for some work jeans, possibly for Warren. And I just want to point out, if you're ever looking for jeans for yourself, like as a female, check out in the men's department because there are so many women's jeans over here. You know, clearly the people that are putting the things out on the shelves just don't know. There are so many women's jeans over here. <laughs> Even some women's dress pants and everything. So always check. Like there's another pair. And there's another pair. And there's another pair. <laughs> and they're really nice ones too. Because they're the ones that don't get picked over. So yeah, there's some really nice ones here. 